Lion, attributed to John Bell. This earthenware sculpture of a lion, produced more than 150 years ago, still bears tangible traces of its maker and the niece to whom it was gifted. First, admire the personality of this lion. Is it fierce? Proud? Friendly? Perhaps a little bit of an underdog among other, more regal lions? Its diminutive size, slightly splayed puppy dog stance, and wide nostrilled grimace project a quite particular character. Next, look for the hand of the artist, probably John Bell, on the surface of his body. There are the careful nicks that outline each tooth and delineate each paw, but there are even more visceral marks, too. When the lion was dipped in yellow clay slip, a suspension of clay in water that can be used to shape, coat, or join together pieces of pottery, it may have been held by the tail. Do you see Bell's fingerprints on the tail's underside? Then imagine picking up the lion. How heavy do you think it is? If you shook it, would you hear the rattle of the pencil that Bell's niece, recipient of the lion, inserted through an ear cavity? Folk art can be a link to the past, not just in showing us images of it or teaching us about it, but in preserving pieces of the people who created it and who enjoyed it. The lion brings us vestiges of John Bell through his artistic choices, his genial sensibility, and literally, his touch. And of course, we can picture Bell's little niece delighting in her gift, who among us, as a small child, didn't lose something irretrievable in service of the question, will this fit?